Mark Spencer here from rippletraining.com and applemotion.net with a quick tip about how to use Motion 4's RTF import and scrolling text behavior. Now, if you don't already know, in Motion 4, there's a new capability to really quickly create scrolling end credits with these two different features. And if you're not already familiar with them, what I suggest you do, if you go to Apple's website for Final Cut Studio, and then you go click on Resources, that will bring up this page here. And up at the top under Ripple Training are a set of tutorials that go over the new features of all of the new Final Cut Studio, including Motion 4. And if you go to that link, part of that page will show you these Motion 4 features. And this is the particular one that goes over the credit tools, which includes the RTF import option and the scrolling text behavior. What it doesn't uh, mention, though, is some an issue that can come up that I've had some questions about, and that's what this tip is about. So first of all, what RTF import means is if you've created your credits in some kind of word processing doc, and this is just a text edit document I have right here, as long as you save it in the RTF format, you can import that directly into Motion. So you don't need to type everything out in Motion. Now, the first question I often get is, well, that's great, but how do you set something up like this that has the gutter aligned like this and, and works out nicely? Now, you can do this in Word, like I said, or text edit, or other word processing applications. Um, what I can do is provide you with this document as a template. So if you just go to my website, which is applemotion.net, and subscribe here, I will uh, automatically shoot off an email to you that will include this document that you can use as a template. And then you can, of course, select any text you want and change uh, the font, change anything you want in this in order to make it look any, any way you want. Okay, so that just gives you a starting point. You don't have to use this, but it can be helpful. Now, here's the other thing, though. Let's go to Motion. And here I have this RTF document ready to import. Let me just delete these little titles here. I'm going to hit Import. And it brings it in, and it looks just fine. You could uh, change the size. I'm holding it on Shift and Option and then dragging a corner of the bounding box in order to change the overall scale of the text, which you can do. You can also double click in here and select any of the text to change it once it's inside motion, and all that works just great. But here's what can happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the Add Behavior icon at the top of the toolbar here. I'm gonna choose Text Animation, Scroll Text. Once I select that, te text jumps to the bottom if I hit play, the text will start to scroll up. But check it out. Notice how it's not lined up correctly anymore. So this is something that uh, people frequently run into, is even though it's lined up perfectly in your text edit document, it doesn't line up perfectly here in Motion. If I go back to that text edit document just for a second, and I drag the corner to make it larger and smaller, you can see that it's kind of variable, right? If you change the width of this document, the center part doesn't really line up properly unless you hold it in just the right location. So here's the fix, and here's kind of the focus of this little tip here. Once you apply the scrolling text behavior and you see that things aren't lined up right, all you need to do is go to the inspector, go to the text tab of the inspector, and then go to the layout section of the text tab. Now in the layout, Way down here is something called right margin. And if I scrub in that right margin field, you can see that I'm able to realign those center aligned text items just where I want them. So I'm just scrubbing over to get it where I want. And then from there, you can just center the entire object in your screen. So you can center it where you want. But the whole trick here is to use this right margin setting to adapt your... Um, your RTF file to any motion project, no matter what the project settings, whether it's DV or it's 1280 by 720 HD or it's some anamorphic setting, you should be able to get this work correctly and then be able to scroll the text uh, nicely and have it look just perfect. And of course, you can still always double click to go back into that text and adjust it any way you want. You can scrub through it with this little preview area here and make changes to any of the text that you want. So that's a quick tip on how to deal with the RTF import and scrolling text behavior. Again, I'll, I'll give you that little template for free just for subscribing at my website here. 
If you want to know more about Motion on my website, uh, I've got this new Motion 4 Fast Forward training, a complete in-depth tutorial on all the features of Motion 4. And if you click here from my website, it'll bring you to Ripple Training, where you can choose either the iTunes or the DVD version. By the way, some confusion here. The iTunes version and the DVD version are identical, meaning that with the iTunes version, you still get all of the project files and all of the media that goes along with the tutorial lessons. They're all delivered through iTunes. It's really kind of a neat thing uh, that Ripple Training is doing with that. So uh, if you go to their site and you click either one of those, you can get a great deal of information on exactly what's contained in this DVD or the iTunes feed. You can watch excerpt movies and get a good sense of the full table of contents of what's in this training. So uh, that's it. A quick tip. Uh, again, I'm Mark Spencer. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.